What is up, all my dumpster peeps? How in the heck are you guys? I am out of breath. Oh, and I'm gonna hit my garbage cans. No, I'm not, I got this. I'm out of breath because I just had to chase my dog through the neighborhood. <laughs> He's lucky it's his birthday. I wasn't too mad at him. Spoiled little bulldog. Anywho, um, it is that time and we're going dumpster diving. I am so sorry that it took me so long to get my video up. I've just been so busy. It's been crazy. Like I worked all weekend. I was super busy at work. And then I had to go grocery shopping. And then I had to record the reveal, edit the reveal and upload the video plus cook dinner. So, you know. Hashtag mom life. Hopefully you guys enjoy that video. It is a pretty good one. We got some awesome stuff to donate, which also I did want to tell you guys, um, I know I have a lot of new subscribers. Like I had somebody question the other day, um, what I do with the stuff that I get, like when I deliver it to Tara, why do I do that? So let me explain to you guys exactly what goes on if you're new. We go out and check the dumpsters for anything that these corporations deem as trash. So once we get it, then I take it to Tara's house, which she used to be just one of my subscribers. She offered to help and because I was getting overwhelmed with so much stuff and I didn't have enough people to just give it to. Like we were finding so much that I was putting it in like little pantries and giving it to coworkers, but I was running out of room like to hold stuff because I didn't have enough people to give it to, you know what I mean? So she emailed me and was like, listen, I have a lot of contacts because of a foster mom, like with the diaper bank and the Blackburn Center, the Women and Children's Center, blah, 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 blah. They always need donations and this would be absolutely amazing. And also her church. Her church helps over 100 school district children that are in need of food each and every week. Week. They deliver food weekly to these children. Over 100 children. That is a lot of money in food. So that is our top priority. Food goes to them first. I'll deliver it all to her house. And what she does is she sanitizes it again she separates it into what is going where because she is in contact with these people each and every day. So she knows who needs what. So she'll separate it for me and then hand deliver it to these places for me. And she does it all in her spare time just to be nice, just to help me. And I, I couldn't do this without her anymore. Like she's absolutely amazing. And most of the time her and her husband will even pick it up. But she has just recently broken her foot. So she's in a cast and she cannot even bear weight on her foot. So I have been delivering it to her, but that is what we do with it. So if you are wondering what we do with everything and where we donate to, everything is always listed in the description box. Um, not everything, but most of the places we donate to is listed in the description box. But if you go back and watch older videos, it, you know, like maybe from a year and a half ago, then it'll bring you up to speed and I explain everything that is going on. Like all my videos are done in the correct time. So I'm not gonna record a video and upload it three weeks from now. I record the video and it goes up the next within the next few days. So everything I do is in the same amount of time as it's done in real life. You catch my drift? Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna zip it. We're gonna go scoop up Beth and we're gonna jump on in these dumpsters do the dang thing. Me and Beth were just saying how this dumpster has not given us anything in months. We're at a Dollar General, by the way. Look, there's even my Dr. Pepper. God, I hope it doesn't break underneath my fat butt. I cannot believe that. They're not selling it in the stores no more. Spread. Fanta. Spread. Oh look, we got one of your dream worlds. Ooh, I like that. Oh, let's pull the six packs out first. This is the first dumpster, guys. <laughs> you know what that means. That means we might have some really good luck. I'm gonna leave a couple pops in here for uh, other divers. 
We'll take two more and that's it. Guys, we are at Alta. There was a big bag of brushes. They broke them all in half. Like, really? Why? Why? It's so ridiculous they do that, you know? Okay, well, I went to go check this dumpster, and um, the raccoons are like, no, no, you're definitely not. <laughs> they will not leave. They're just staring at us. And there's a bunch of them in there. <laughs> so... We're not going to be checking that dumpster. We are at Walgreens. I'm shoving a cow tail in my mouth. I apologize for chewing in your ear, guys. Oh my god, it stinks so bad. Look at that. Unisex briefs. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, it smells. It's so bad. It's getting so much worse. I'm so scared of raccoons. Oh, I know. At least the pops right on top. Yeah. Look at that. Locker shelf. Water bottle. You gotta put your phone. You can't. You gotta wear a big sweatshirt I next know. time. I could zip it up, but I'll hold my breath. <laughs> we get out. <laughs> You sound so funny. Oh, it's so bad, though. I know. Look at that, guys. We got gloves on and everything. We definitely need to lice all all this. My arms are so short. You get it? No. I'm so scared to go face first I in know. this dumpster. We're at another Dollar General. And we got a bunch of totes. And a whole case of Pringles! How awesome is that? God, it smells in this dumpster. I know, there's like there's nothing, nothing in it. it. Oh, the juice. There it's is a, a juice. little juice in there. <laughs> Listen, it's not nearly as bad as Walgreens. No. Why would they throw out a whole case? general and there's so much stuff in here we got look at all these paper towels guys holy guacamole look at this package of paper towels it's massive and there's a bunch more what are all these bags there's all, right. all just paper bags they threw away they threw away tons of paper bags why? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. No, it surely does not. It smells like coffee in here. You so dumped it. it. Look, there's more paper yep, towels. I saw them. Holy Why? cow. Why did you throw away all these paper towels? There's more over there. There have to be uh, a penny left or something. something. That's they could use those for period packs. Shoot, I could use those at work too. Look at this. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. There's brand new toys in here. Oh, there's brand new toys in this whole bag and more paper towels. Um, I think that's garbage. Your mom's gonna be one happy lady. Wow. <laughs> That's mom loves floral stuff. I can't believe all the paper bags. Yeah, I don't, I don't quite understand that. That's crazy. That is garbage. Okay. Well, we cleared this baby out. Heck yeah. Let's see if these are okay. I think they're fine. Those are so cute. Usually when we find them, the pieces are broken. They're both fine. I think it was just spring stuff they're yeah. throwing away, maybe. All right, peeps. Last dumpster of the night. Another Dollar General. It's looking like... Oh, no. Nope. 
it's all shelving. There is? Oh lord, Beth got a whole bag. Oh goodness. Yep, we got Takis and Twinkies, barbecue chips, and oh goodness, a big old thing of cough drops, 200 cough drops, medicine, another bag, vitamin C, oh, it's clearance stuff. Oh, okay. Well, we'll take that stuff. Shoot. Energy drink. Wow, nice. All right. Let's put it in the car if I have room. <laughs> Guys, wait till you see the car. It's absolutely crazy. Bam. <laughs> we got so much stuff. It's nuts. I'm going to have to put this in the back seats. We got a little bit of space over here. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. We had such amazing luck. We found such amazing items. I mean, look at that. That's a stack of paper towels. You know why they threw them away? Because they're spring. I know, I know. They have butterflies and flowers on them. So God forbid they keep those ones in stock and sell them at a discounted price. No, let's throw them in the dumpster. <laughs> Anywho. I was super excited to find paper towels in the dumpster because that is a very rare find these days. Anyway, we got a lot of other cool things too, so let me zip it and let's get in to everything Beth and I found at the dumpster. And the very first dumpster we went to was a Dollar General, but of course, and this Dollar General has not given up the goods in quite some time, let me tell you. It has been months, guys. They've been destroying, they went as far as to open every single bottle of soda and dump it out in the dumpster. That's crazy. But one good thing about the cold weather is no employee really likes to stand outside and dump all the soda or open and destroy all the items. So I encourage cold weather. Yes, I do. So anyway, let me show you all the soda we got out of the first Dollar General. I could not believe my flipping eyeballs when I seen my Dr. Pepper in that dumpster because they are no longer selling it at any store. There's my stash. <laughs> so you guys could tell I am very addicted to dark berry Dr. Pepper. And when they stopped selling it, I was so super sad. But look at that. We found one in the flipping dumpster. Could you even believe it? We also got a ton of six pack 20 ounce bottles of Sprite. I of course did not count them per the huge. <laughs> we also got a six pack of orange Fanta. We got a lot of single bottles over here. We have regular Coke, regular Sprite, the Dream World Coke, which I don't know if you guys have tried that yet, but Beth said it is amazing. Three six packs of the 20 ounce bottles of regular Coke, three single bottles of Coke Zero, two more of What the Fanta, this mystery flavor, and one Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. Next, you guys seen we headed to the Walgreens dumpster. Now, <laughs> this dumpster, uh, we love this dumpster, but we also hate it. This dumpster has been there for quite some time because their compactor broke. You normally don't ever see us go into Walgreens because they always have compactors. So that's why you never see us go into Targets, Walmart, CVSs, the Walgreens, because they just all have compactors around here, sadly. <laughs> but this Walgreens has a huge dumpster because it's compactor broke. Beth and I were so excited and we were like, we're getting in this dumpster. Yeah, no. Okay, first of all, it has a ton of raccoons that love to eat all the food out of it. And second, it smells like I can't even describe the smell. It is the worst smelling dumpster. And I've smelled a lot of stinky dumpsters, but it is by far the worst. So we try to get in and out of that dumpster as fast as we can. You even seen we were wearing gloves because it's just that bad. So let me show you everything we pulled out of the Walgreens dumpster. So of course, Beth found that huge bag of unisex briefs, four 12 packs of Diet Coke cans. We got a locker shelf, outline markers. And lastly, we found a stainless steel double wall 
water bottle. It wasn't a ton, but the, I, listen, you just can't go digging on in that dumpster. There is some nastiness in there, okay? It's just, I, we grab what's on the top and we get the heck on out of there as fast as we can. Next, we went to a lot of Dollar Generals. As you can see behind me, we found a ton of awesome stuff. So starting back there, we found four, where's my finger? We found four very large totes, which I absolutely love finding because as you can see over here behind my vacuums and my mess, we have tons of totes because we have tons of donations. So with all the donations that we are getting from you guys and all the stuff we find in the dumpsters, when we go to donate it, I don't want to just throw it in my car. So it's great to have these huge totes that we can throw all the goodies in and deliver it to Tara. You also seen that we grabbed a few bags out of the last Dollar General and this is everything that was in those two bags. Four bags of barbecue, what are those things called again? Um, pork rinds. <laughs> Words are hard. Two bags of Takis, some medicine, toothpaste, a half a bottle of palm olive dish soap, a big old honking bag of cough drops, a small bag of Ricola, and everything you see here has small yellow tags. That's because all of this was clearance. Whatever didn't sell, they threw it in the trash. We got some coconut snack break wafer type things, two little packs of gum, Afrin, two bottles of children's multivitamin gummies, one bottle of vitamin C, one sparkling V8 energy drink, orange pineapple, one little sign, does need glued at the bottom, two packages of light bulbs, four packages of white chocolate M&Ms, two packages of dried mangoes, a bunch of sunflower seeds, and some, I don't know what that word is, and I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but they are chili and lime peanuts. One orange package of uh, mints. These are individually wrapped, so it doesn't matter that the bag's opened. One package of exfoliating pads on clearance. They were $5.50. Oh, goodness, that's steep. I don't think I'd ever pay $5.50 on clearance for some face pads, just saying. We also got this slime breaker in this purple and like orangish color, which is super cool. A tassel cake topper. We also found a brand spanking new curling iron. That is a great donation for the ladies at the Blackburn Center or the Women and Children's Center. When we went to that last Dollar General, inside that one bag was brand spanking new toys. Now I am guessing the only reason why they threw these out is because they were crushed in shipping, but it just blows my mind. Like instead of marking them down at a cheaper price, they throw them in the trash. Like I just, I will never understand. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so there are four packages of these free wheels and some little boy is going to be so super happy with these. Now let's get to the coolest part of this dive. The paper towels, baby. <laughs> I never thought I would be so excited to see paper towels, but let me tell you, them suckers are not cheap anymore. So when we find them in the dumpster, it is just like our birthday and Christmas put together. <laughs> Three full 12 packs of paper towels. So I'm gonna keep a pack, Beth will keep a pack, and we will donate a pack. Then we have seen all of these bags. Now, why? They threw them away is beyond me. And B, I have never seen a Dollar General use paper bags. So I don't know if maybe like they got these by accident or something. I don't know. First of all, they have handles, which is great. So I am going to split these up. Beth is going to take a few. I'm going to take a few for my work. And the rest I'm going to donate to Tara for period packs because this will be perfect. And then they don't have to worry about buying any bags. Tara is gonna absolutely love that we found all these. I am so sure of it. Also in that dumpster, you guys seen Beth pull out two of these adorable floral arrangements. We usually find these and the vases are broken. So we were so excited we found them and there was nothing wrong with either of them. Also in that dumpster, we found this huge bag of floral picks. Now, 
These, of course, are all spring. So that is what, oh my God. I thought these were floral picks. Look at how cute. I did not even know that. How much were these? $10, guys. That's crazy for this tiny little thing. And a whole flipping case of Pringles. Can you even believe that? We, <laughs> we also went to Michael's and sadly there was nothing in their dumpster but these, which are uh, toasted vanilla marshmallows. And I'm sure these were not cheap there because it ain't nothing cheap at Michael's. We all know that. Yeah, there's no price. But that, my friends, is everything we found at the dumpsters. So thank you guys so very much for hanging out with Beth and I at the dumpsters and me today in the reveal. I, of course, will talk to you in all those comments down below. And until next time, guys, happy diving.